Chait says that most boards default to number one. They do fiduciary work. They know they need to or they'll get sued. Put one lawyer or one accountant on your session and you know very well that you're going to have all the bylaws, all the HR principles, and all the budget in order. Right? I'm not saying anything against it. We gotta do it. Many boards will now move to strategic. How should we do this well to fulfill our mission as a church or whatnot? Very few get to the third piece, to be generative, to generate shifts of processing and thinking that will pro propose new ideas and challenges. What in, they ask questions like, what are the emerging challenges that we face? How have things changed? How is it different today than when we started? What do we need to do in order to be effective, not just in Africa, where we know we're passionate about, but how about Costa Mesa High School, right there, that we've never once mentioned today? Not once. What is our mission field, and who are we called to be? And what is it we're called to be as a missional presbytery? What shift of perspective will generate new strategy, help us see things in new ways. And what and how do we express our values in a changing world? How can Presbytery become a culture that learns and generates faithful responses? How can we become known as the people who together are willing to face head on the shifts that are happening in our culture and structure ourselves to fulfill that mission no matter what? Let's be clear, we need all three. Without fiduciary decisions, we don't exist. We all know that if we fail at the things that we are called to be faithful to, whether it's our finances or our ethics, we're done. We lose the opportunity to lead. Without strategic thinking, we can't effectively fulfill our mission. And very often, we shy away from strategy because we're uncomfortable with the notion of effectiveness. Without generative insights, we'll never develop new responses to a changing world. We are asking questions and inviting you to think along with us about what it would mean, what structures do we need, and what don't we need. What do we need to invest more in, and what do we need to eliminate? What do we need to change so that we can be a, a, a leadership governing missional body? that is fiduciarily responsible, strategically effective, and generatively inspiring to people around us. Let me ask you to this way, when you think about the meetings that we've just been in, think about the fact that we need to ensure fiduciary effectiveness, insist on strategic effectiveness, and instill generative effectiveness. What would it take to make this meeting the one that we will all are committed to sitting in. The most stimulating, helpful, important meeting on every pastor's calendar. What would it take to make this meeting the one that every elder wanted to go to? I emailed 108 elders to ask if any of them would be willing to be presbytery reps. I finally got five. What would it take? Or to put it this way, what would it take so that we never had to take role and everyone wanted to stay? Because what we were doing was so important, so creative, so strategic, so generative, that this would be the most creative place to be. What would it take to be part of that kind of community? That kind of body? What shifts are we willing to make? Think along with us. Send your ideas to us. And we'll come back in November sometime to give you some more to think about as we head toward January.